Peggy 18. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of Stardew Valley 1.4 here on Not Your Professional Walkthroughs channel with me, your host, Max. This is a fairly special episode because we are starting off summer season. Now, when you start off your Stardew Valley adventure, when you hit summer in year one, it's the first season where you can truly earn some money if you go heavy on, for example, blueberries. But year two, we're gonna go heavy on the star fruit. Now, I still have some other plants for crops which I would want to plant, that is most definite. My plants for the farm keep changing the same as the season. So, yeah, it's, it's gonna be an interesting idea. So, we have Monday, Tuesday, obviously, if I will need to go to Pierre, which most likely I will need to, despite the fact that I have only 90,000 gold, and I will need to hoe all the land, repopulate the land with the deluxe speed grow and uh, all sorts of other things, I'm kind of afraid that I might have to take some artisanal items from the farm, take them to Pierre and sell them off over there so that I can purchase more deluxe speed grow and more seeds because I'm gonna definitely try to put down more sprinklers and expand the farm. Also thanks to my wonderful viewers who have left an interesting tip. I'm gonna try to replicate the process I did throughout the first year mostly at the fall season. So when you start off the game, for example, what usually happens is that throughout the season you will have at least 4 rainy days. Now because one of the corners of the map now have only the fish ponds in it, I was thinking that maybe I would just put down one of these scarecrows there and plant lots of straw or hay in there and not water it. The thing is, the rain will take care of it, and since I will have the scarecrow there to protect the crop, I should be okay. If we're gonna be lucky, we're gonna come across a couple of lightning storms, so the lightning round, round, lightning rods sorry, might be capable of producing sufficient amount of batteries too. Therefore, yeah, th there's just so much stuff that can be done throughout the season. Obviously, on the next episode, we will be celebrating Jasmine's birthday. And luckily enough for me, I have plenty of fairy roses still from the first year of fall. But yeah, let me just shut up, drink some triple shot espresso, and go watch the TV. Right? That, that, that's the proper process. I mean, I don't know. I don't even have TV at my apartment. But yeah, okay, so tomorrow is gonna be a sunny day, which means lots of watering probably, not happy about that. And uh, I'm not really that interested in the luck, to be perfectly honest, because we will be mostly dealing with what's happening at the farm. Okay, so I heard that some folks stand near moving trains to gather any debris that falls off. Wow, the things people will do for a freebie. Now honestly, when it comes to the trains and the stuff which you might come across, there are some valuable things, but... Yeah, I just hate to deal with the train, plus... If you watch the playthroughs, whenever the train moves through the valley, I'm usually half across the map, so it's impossible for me to make it there in time anyhow. But yeah, uh, let's just take a look outside, and I'm gonna try to do something fun for this episode specifically. So I'm gonna try to take a snapshot of like the start of the summer season, and then I'm gonna take a snapshot after I'm like done planting whatever I can manage to squeeze in here. It's gonna be an interesting look, I believe. Uh, let's go with 50% zoom, and we're gonna take the snapshot, and in the editing I'm gonna try to pop it on the screen or something, so you have something fun to look at. Anyhow, so 
what I was actually thinking is that I'm gonna populate this part of the farm not with blueberries, but I'm gonna fill in the coffee. Now, it's not the greatest option, obviously, since I have coffee here and down by the shed, but here's the thing. I will definitely be removing the coffee from here and putting it uh, eventually, like, uh, elsewhere or inside of the greenhouse because, well... Uh, coffee plants only grow throughout spring and summer and I want a supply of caffeine or the plus one speed throughout the entire year. So yeah, I'm gonna have to deal with that. So I was thinking that maybe the blueberries can go in here. So I'm gonna try to grab what I have here at the farm. So we have the deluxe speed grow. And I have 69 blueberry seeds, which is definitely not sufficient enough. I'm going to have to definitely increase the strawberry seeds count too. I'm going to have to plant the star fruit too. And also the hops, but I'm going to definitely try to get my hands on more of them. I'm going to see regarding the melon. I'm not going to be dealing with tulips. And we can definitely do corn. What else would be a nice thing to plant? I'm gonna probably have to definitely go to see Pierre and try to grab some fancy stuff off him. So since I'm here and I have time till Pierre will open the shop, I'm gonna do one thing. Now luckily enough, some of this land since I did leave the crops in there because we had things uh, growing here like the strawberries and such those crops have withered and therefore the land remained hoed and unfortunately yes the deluxe speed grow is gone but it's less of a work less of a hassle I don't have to re the land and also the fun thing is that uh, it's watered, so on the next day, uh, the blueberries will start to take shape. Now, unfortunately, normally blueberries, I think they take around like two weeks or ten days at least to grow, so we're gonna have to definitely use the deluxe speed grow. And uh, I have unfortunately used up all of the blueberries, but here at the end, since I have the uh, honeybees or beehives, I'm gonna try to put there some crops or flowers so that we have flavored honey and uh, yeah, it just might look more aesthetically pleasing. So for here, I was thinking maybe I'm gonna go with the corn. I'm still trying to decide where I will put all the hops. Now obviously this place over here is definitely getting the hops treatment, but I only have 17 hop starters and I will require 20 just to populate that space over there. So I definitely need to purchase more of them. Also, I don't know if I will like put down that much corn. It's nice to have the corn, especially because it grows for two seasons. So you will have it from summer till the fall season. But other than that, uh, uh, I don't know. Sure, corn is used for lots of recipes like tortillas, which are then used for my favorite dish, which would be the lucky lunch. But other than that, I, I just don't know if there is that much of a use. Corn does not sell for so much money, therefore, yeah, it's a personal preference of what you want to grow. I am mostly going for money runs and the most proficient crops or harvests which I can have here at the farm. So obviously, uh, having some corn is definitely nice. It's going to definitely help me to fill in, let's say, certain days when I will need some form of income by selling all those crops. Because, well, you're going to get a bunch of them. But other than that, I, I don't really know. So, star fruit, we're definitely going to be populating the star fruit around the farm. I definitely need to get more of the lovely, lovely deluxe speed grow with, because I have like 300 
starfruit seeds and yeah it's just not gonna work in this fashion okay so what do we want to do here how many did i pick up seven let's go with seven pieces of wheat it's gonna turn into beer quite fast so we should be a-okay here and if i want to do something regarding the strawberry seeds or the low count of strawberry seeds i can use the seed makers not a big issue also the cool thing is we have the fruit here inside of the greenhouse so i can later on pick that up too but what i'm gonna probably do now is take care of the animals i'm gonna grab all the mayo and everything that i can i don't know why the pigs are finding the Truffles in front of my cheese makers or cheese press or what's the thing called But I'm not gonna complain because this will definitely help me out a lot So that I can sell this immediately at your shop and in return. I'm gonna be grabbing Some deluxe speed grow and other fancy stuff. So I'm gonna shut up I'm gonna deal with the animals and I'll be right back Okay, so this has all been taken care of. I have still a big surplus of animal products here, from eggs to all sorts of other cool stuff, so we should be a-okay. I'm gonna probably take all the cheese and things like this. I am thinking that I'm gonna put the pumpkin juice into the collection box just so that I have something at the end of the day uh, for the income and yeah this is gonna definitely help me out I'm gonna grab the coffee from the shed so we should be okay when it comes to that I'm gonna drop off these things I right now do not need you two to be on me at all times so let's make our way Ooh, tomatoes I have tomatoes so I can put those into the seed makers so I don't have to spend too much money on tomato seeds but yeah uh, let us go grab some more blueberries some more deluxe speed grow and sell a whole bunch of stuff to beer so we are definitely turning some profit here selling the cheese the mayonnaise and the truffle oil so I have 34 tomatoes back at the farm if I run that through the uh, seed maker that's perfectly fine I have blueberries at the shed but I'd rather just keep those for the blueberry jelly so I'm gonna grab like uh, I don't know 150 of those uh, pepper seeds definitely want to grab at least some of them uh Wheat is what I was talking about, so I'm just gonna leave this to be watered by the rain. Hopefully we are gonna get some freaking rain this year. Uh, radish, uh, we're gonna keep that for like the end of the season, and we have the choice between poppies and spangles. Unfortunately, uh, I don't think you can create anything from the spangles, but there is, I believe, a poppy muffin. And I think for that you actually do require the poppies, so we are gonna grab at least like 20 of those, and let's go with like 20 of these spangles. Uh, definitely want to grab some hop starters, they are a great source for hops, and hops are amazing because the pale ale which you get is brewed within like one, one to three days, so it's much faster compared to brewing wine so if you load in lots of hops you're gonna have a lots of income because i'm still utilizing hops from the previous year because i keep changing and mixing up what i keep brewing and since i'm expanding the shed i'm gonna need a whole lot more hops and i'm gonna need some bright idea as to where in the hell should i put those Sunflowers are good if you want to befriend or marry potentially Haley. Or also, the cool thing is... 
Also, the cool thing is that uh, sunflowers grow for two seasons. When you pick up the flower, it will give you also automatically the sunflower seeds too. Plus, the sunflowers can be turned into the cooking oil. Not really sure if you are gonna cook that much. Plus, saturated fats are not that healthy. But, uh, uh, sure, let's grab, like, I don't know, 30 of those. A uh, red cabbage is cool. This is the second year crop. So usually if you're trying to deal with the community center and you are dealing with the die bundle, here you can see that there is the red cabbage. So usually people or players have to wait till the second year unless they come across the cabbage seed from the traveling merchant, which I managed to do, which is how I was able to give this to the bundle and I do realize that I did not fill in any of the items for the bundles for quite a while which I can theoretically do. I'm still waiting for the rabbit's foot otherwise I can populate this entire thing and here we're gonna definitely need those three apples but in the next episode we should have those three apples since the first apples which I got I immediately have thrown into like the uh, preserve jar or keg or something. So, yeah. But here we're gonna need the poppy, so I'm gonna have to deal with that too. We have truffles, maki rolls, fried eggs are easy. Maple syrup, we got that. So, uh, when I get the poppy, uh, finishing off the last couple of bundles should be easy peasy lemon squeezy. So, we should be a okay there. So, the last thing which I came for here, on which I'm gonna spend probably most of my remaining cash, is the Deluxe Speed Rope. Now, I have talked about this quite a lot before, but unless you are here for the first time and you have survived until now, I have shifted my growing uh, quite a lot lately from using the uh, fertilizer into using the Speed Rope. You see, if you use the fertilizer, you are getting better quality crops, sure, so you can sell the better quality crops, but if you turn the crops into artisanal items, you're gonna get more money, which is why I am using the fertilizer, or the speed grow, sorry, and the speed grow allows me to get a few more harvests throughout the season so i have more items to load into the kegs preserve jars and since on this farm i'm gonna try to have at least three big sheds yeah i'm i'm i'm, I'm that crazy uh so yeah those, those will be some fun episodes so consider subscribing but if i will like try to supply the stupid amounts of kegs and preserve jars inside of those three big sheds. I'm gonna need a few more harvests. Not the gold star or silver star quality crops. Those will not save me at the end of the season. So that is why I have dramatically shifted from using the fertilizer and now I use the speed grow. Now since I have 350 of just the star fruit, most of the deluxe speed grow will be used up for the purposes of growing that. Uh, also, definitely gonna have to try and stop by the oasis and later on pick up more star fruit. But if you have watched the episode where I was able to get my first harvest of the star fruit from the greenhouse, what I do is that the basic star fruit is transformed back into more seeds because from one star fruit you can get up to like three star fruit seeds or mixed seeds in the worst case scenario and basically from the next batch you can get from the basic star fruit which you turned into seeds even a silver star or a gold star star fruit so yeah it, it just depends of Grass starter probably grab like 50, 40 animals because they do provide a lot of stuff for us at the farm. So I'm really happy with the Four Corners map. Honestly, it's a great farm layout. It allows you to do a whole lot 
so go crazy and yeah like I said tomatoes we are done with and radishes and anything else I'm gonna stop by like later on we have 28 days to deal with whatever so we should be a-okay since I'm here I'm gonna actually go and uh, see if I can catch up to Willy also I don't know if I will be able to stop by at Clint's and buy some coal uh, the reason why I wanna get some more preserved jars if possible uh, so how many do I need for one Eight. I have picked up 20 so that is not good because I need at least like 32 or 28 in order to be able to divide it by 8 no hold on 28 Jesus I'm horrible at math uh, I should not be recording this stuff in the evening but I don't have other time so yeah okay uh, 8, 16, 24, 32, 25, 30, 32. Yeah, okay. Theoretically, I could have, yeah, I would not have the money to pull off 40, so I can forget about it. But if I'm gonna go and spend some money on more bait, if Willie will be still at the shop, because I'm gonna be like, taking everything from the crab pot. Uh, Lewis is here picking up the taxes or whatnot. I never know what this dude is doing, but uh, I mean, he's the mayor and we should not question his highly questionable activities like the secrets which he keeps behind the house, which we all should keep all hush hush. And it's actually one of the secret notes which you can pick up, which will like lead you to the exact spot where it is. We're gonna try to cover that probably on one of the episodes, but definitely not now because it's fairly simple. I wanna grab as much stuff and do as much stuff as I can at the farm. Like I said, I took that print screen and I'm gonna try and see if I can show you what is the result at the end of the day. I'm gonna probably dump you because we have three soggy newspapers so from the soggy newspapers I might have a slight chance to get the cloth but I cannot go to check on the crab pots which are by Leah's home because my backpack is completely full. I cannot be collecting trash because the girls are here in the village, so I'm just gonna run off back to the farm. And we are getting the first harvest of our lovely, lovely honey. Now because we do not have any flowers next to them, this is not flavored. That means that this honey will be turned into mead. Uh, okay, so I should go fetch the tomatoes to be transferred or transformed into the tomato seeds. Where in the heck do I keep them? I keep forgetting. Tomatoes, of course, we can do the same with the grapes eventually, so that will be a okay. And I'm gonna need to go grab the coffee so that I can replant it over there. So I'm gonna actually go and pick up that coffee right now. I'm not exactly sure how much will I need, but I'm thinking quite a lot. I rather have a surplus at the end after I'm like done with this whole shebang compared to uh, running back and forwards and up and down like a total goofball. But yeah, okay, so I wanted to get rid of certain things. So I can start freeing up the space. And yes, I do realize I was just in the shed and I did not drop off even the damn. Uh, wild honey but yeah I'm, I'm just uh, trying to make sure 
I will not somehow screw up anything else. So, I wanted to build some of these. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I don't have any stone. Oh, come on! That's not cool. Oh, man, oh, man. Yeah, I want to build more preserve jars now, so I'm not going to deal with this. Anyhow, I'll just go and deal with the coffee. Really hope I brought in enough seeds. But, yeah, I'm just going to uh, let this work out. I'm going to try to make sure... I don't miss any of these patches of the land uh, while I'm putting down the deluxe speed grow because one of our brown chickens managed to get here. Uh, that is not what I was about to say, but yeah. Uh, during the spring season what happened when I planted, for example, the strawberries here was an issue that some of the crops basically uh, matured at a different time. Uh, than the other ones, so it was like uh, three strawberries were fully mature while the rest were still waiting for them to be finished. I did not bring enough coffee, god darn it. Ah, uh, okay. These I'm gonna have a reason to run down, and since I'm here, I'm gonna do the thing with the tomatoes. No, don't eat it. So I'm gonna drop off the wild honey, and I'm gonna grab more coffee. I'm not exactly sure how much. I kind of did not count, so... <laughs> sorry. But, yeah, okay. We are dropping off the wild honey. And I can put in three things. So let's free up some space here. And yeah, I have only 26 blueberries left, which is why I did not wanted to like put them into the seed makers and I rather went for this thing. Okay, so we are gonna have lava, eel row, caviar, which is gonna take longer, and the salmon row. Cool, 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 cool. And we can put down this one preserve jar. And I can put in I don't know. So many options! I cannot choose! Nah, I can actually choose. It's fairly easy. Uh, I just put in one of these. It takes a short amount of time, like two or three days. So I'm not gonna have to wait too damn long for it. Oh uh, man, I really need to rush. Uh, it's already like super late and I haven't done almost anything. This is why I try to have as many things prepared. Stop trying to eat the tomatoes. Uh, God damn it, I totally forgot to grab the damn coffee. What is wrong with me? Yeah, like I said, I should not be recording this in the evenings, but I don't have any other time, so haha. <laughs> okay, uh, I wanted to grab, like, let's go with another 30 coffee beans just in case. I really don't want to repeat myself, but yeah. Uh, tomatoes, tomatoes, tomatoes. So the tomato seeds which I am picking up, I'm gonna actually put down over here. Now these are not uh, two year crops, or two seasonal crops. The tomatoes only will grow throughout the summer season, so don't expect any miracles, but with the amount of crop I still had, uh, I should be a-okay. Looks like I have picked up everything here, let's go plant that coffee so that this will be nicely filled in. Beautiful. I really hope that the deluxe speed grow is on all of the tiles. And let's go put down some of those star fruits, some of those hops, so that I can have at least something growing here at the farm and showing on the second day thanks to the use of the speed grow. I'm gonna try to fill in as much of this. So I'll just shut up and try to focus on the work so that I don't screw up much more. And I'll probably talk to you 
on the next day. Obviously most of the value comes from the pumpkin juice. I did not even manage to get into the mushroom cave and since I sold most of the mayo, cheese and other stuff at Piers, I don't have like a huge amount of sales. Which might hurt me but also might not. Today is Tuesday so if I still need to do this I can pick up the cheese, the mayo, the truffle oil from the animals and sell them at Piers purchase even more crops. I for example did not purchase any melon seeds. Melon seeds are also great when you want to make for example melon jelly or melon wine. It sells well. Melon itself sells well. It takes less time to grow compared to store fruits but uh, usually if you like uh, purchase the melon seed you, you do it for like a hundred gold or so and when you sell it, you you get a uh, couple times the profit, so, so it mul multiplies a few times. Starfruit has stronger effect on this, so that is why I suggest the use of the starfruit. Ah, H2O. Anyhow, let's take a look. Rainbow shell, I think I'm gonna need it for a special quest, so I'm gonna definitely try to keep some till the end of the season. But yeah, let's uh, deal with the farming on the second day. I did not even manage to like plant the wheat and everything because I had to go fetch ton of stuff and I was running around the farm like a total idiot. But yeah, th that's why this channel is not your professional walkthroughs, uh, instead of the channel of uh, eternal excellence or something. Uh, that that would be hard to pull off. Trust me on that. Okay, so today is a neutral luck day. I really don't still care about the luck. 
uh, we have unfortunately gonna have some irregularities in the growing stuff. I also missed a spot here for starfruit, which totally sucks. Uh, the crops which are showing here that they are getting more mature, uh, the reason for that difference is fairly simple. I kind of uh, had some of those patches watered thanks to the use of the sprinklers. But yeah, anyhow, I totally missed out on this place, so these few will be done later. Uh, poppies have been planted, so we're gonna put the spangles in here. And since these will have actually the deluxe speed growth, I think I might have to put it on the poppies here too. And for the rest of the season, I'm gonna have to be careful not to pick the poppies while I'm gonna be trying to, like, uh, pick up any of the other crops. But yeah, uh, more farming, so here we go. Honestly, not really sure what I wanna populate uh, in here. Uh, this last row is an accident, so this will kind of need to be done like so. I'm thinking I might try to put more of those hops in here, just so that it continues like the symmetry over here, but first definitely I'm gonna put down the deluxe speed grow, it's much more difficult to try and place it there once this has been planted like such, because it's almost impossible for you to determine uh, where did you potentially miss a spot or a patch of land, so yeah, th this is uh gonna be a bit easier because I still have a place down here to move around so we should be a-okay so like on the next episode these two star fruits will start to grow while the rest will not I will see if I will manage to water the crops at the end of the day and such but I really just wanna get as much planting done for the end of the day as possible. Now we have a lot of coffee here fully mature, which is totally, totally awesome for me. But yeah, we're still kind of not done and this is why I love to use these systems of quality sprinklers. The Iridium Quality Co. will reward your efforts if you farm like this. So, yeah, de definitely consider copying this system from me. I won't mind at all. Also, if you have any tips on how you would try to improve this, please let me know in the comment section. I would be more than happy to read about it and learn something new. Like I said, uh, the plan with the wheat seeds is from one of the viewers. I first never even thought about trying to do something like that, but then I saw the great benefit of it once I started to look into it a bit deeper from the uh, content creator point of view, and holy bejesus, it really works, so I was really, really impressed by it, and that is why I highly recommend it. Plus, what the price for which it sells, uh, why, why the heck not, right? Uh, do we have more tomatoes? I'm actually thinking I'm gonna put down a few more over here. I'm just gonna need a bit more seeds. Now, I'm kind of doing a wrong thing here because I have used up my last four tomatoes. So let's say I wanna make like, uh, I don't know, pizza or something. Now I cannot do that because I have spent uh, my last remaining tomatoes here at the farm to be turned into seeds. But luckily, Lus, uh, Lus, uh, Gus has us covered, and at his saloon I can buy pizza, so if Robin or Shane will be close by... Actually, for Robin, it's better to buy spaghetti, for Shane you can go with the pizza. But then it kind of escalates weirdly, because I gave Shane on the playthrough here for his birthday pizza, which I purchased from Gus. And a few episodes later, the guy just returned the pizza. Uh, I'm not really sure how he managed to squeeze it into my mailbox. 
I'm, I'm kind of afraid to look at the other mail. I'm kind of afraid it's got all covered in cheese and tomato sauce, but uh, I did not get any mail as of yet, so who knows. Okay, what else do we want to plant? Uh, we can do a few more of the hot peppers. 12 will do just perfectly fine. God damn it! No! Why did you do that? I'm gonna miss. Ah, this is horrible. And even worse is that I need to do this. Yeah, that, that just no. It's just no. Okay, so we are gonna put these over here. I'm gonna have to look if I have some hot peppers in the fridge and turn them into seeds. And we are gonna grab a more of the blueberries. And I still wanna plant somewhere the 10 pieces of hops. It's just kind of different to, or difficult to work with the hops because once you place them down, it's impossible for you to move past them. So, if I would put some hops over here and here, then I cannot get down here because here is the sprinkler and so on and so on. So I might try to go uh, vertical instead of horizontal with them. And I'm gonna need to pick up those hot peppers so that I can be making pepper poppers. Which is a recipe which I got from Shane. Uh, what else do we wanna grow here? I'm really thinking uh, I should put down some of the melons and some more of the star fruits since I have basically made such a huge mess about it. And I'm definitely gonna try to expand the farming. We should have the iron bars hopefully for that. Otherwise I'm gonna be one unlucky farmer and one unhappy farmer too. Oh, da, 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 da. okay, this looks not that really nice, but I think I have some melons in the shed, so those can be turned into melon seeds too. Or I can just go see Pierre and try to purchase some of them. Oh, uh, seriously, do I have any... Lots of money here. Okay, cool. Uh, let's take like four of you and... I swear... Or I had a melon somewhere around here. Okay, uh, so also one reason why I'm not currently using coffee, it's fairly simple. I'm mostly farming, so I'm more stationary, so it would be just a huge waste of money. Uh, anyhow, let's take a look at what is the yield. So beer, strawberry, jelly, aged salmon, sea cucumber, caviar... Melon wine. Nice, 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 nice. Uh, definitely am gonna go cactus fruit wine. Okay, that, that's not the best seller. I am gonna put in some of that star fruit. So that we have some serious, serious reserve of star fruit wine. Because it's the most profitable wine you can do until you get your hands on the ancient uh, fruit. But even that's gonna be a bit of a longer process. Also, speaking of ancient fruit, uh, that should mean I should go and check what's happening inside of my lovely, lovely shed. Um, you know what? We have a huge amount of strawberries. Now I do realize that I have a stupid amount of salmon roe and the sea cucumber roe, but uh, with the selling price for it, I just rather do the strawberries. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be that guy. So four of these, you know what, let's pick like eight. I'm gonna have to check those melons. It's already 5 freaking p.m. so I cannot even go and uh, talk to Pierre anymore. So if I don't have any melons here at the farm, I'm not gonna have a great time. I'm gonna eat this hot pepper. 
it's not like a ghost sweeper or something, so I'm not gonna start coughing and choking and turn into an episode of Odd Ones. But yeah, okay, let's uh, drop off this. I'm gonna put away these things, and I swore I had melons somewhere in here. Or am I just dreaming? Come on! I swore I saw melons somewhere around the farm here. Yeah, I have them in here. Okay, hold on, because my vision is... Well, it's bad, so... I swear, usually when I'm like editing some episode for the channel, and I'm like, oh, I don't have any spicy eel. And then I rewatch the entire episode while I'm editing the footage. I see the spicy eel. So when I went to like the skull caverns and such, I could have had uh, just a nice supply of luck. But no, I have to rush stuff because I'm trying to squeeze in as much as I can throughout one episode. Oh, man. Okay, you know what? Screw it. I'm just gonna put down the star fruit. It's gonna be more profitable anyhow. And here we are gonna go with more star fruit. Once the uh, hot peppers have been turned into the seeds, I'm gonna plant those five over there. But yeah, look at it. I had like 500 something deluxe speed grow. And now I just don't have any more left almost so yeah the the thing is unfortunately tomorrow is Wednesday the year is still closed because I still have not finished the community center so most likely I'm gonna need to think of some other plan to do something uh, yeah. Also, we are burning through the star fruit seeds super fast, but that is actually good because they will definitely bring in some cash. Now I'm still gonna have to try and pick up whatever is in the crab pots and uh, all sorts of other things. Mushroom cave two, the greenhouse two, and uh, milk the cows. Uh, sell crops and artisanal items so that I have some walk around money or some pocket money and I really think that I should water at least the star fruit in order to speed up the process so yeah um most likely I'm just gonna speed up the rest of the episode try to put in as much as I can I hope you did enjoy the start of the summer season. If you have any tips, tricks, concerns, comments, please let me know in the comment section. I actually do tend to read them. Uh, I do appreciate the continued support for the channel, uh, even by leaving a like on the video in case you like what I do here. That way the YouTube algorithm will push the content on to more viewers. And uh, yeah. Uh, if you like what I do here, consider subscribing. I publish content on a weekly basis from all sorts of topics and uh, discussions to playthroughs, uh, some early in-game reviews if I come across some game which I deem interesting enough, and so on and so on. Um, I hope you are staying safe. I hope you are enjoying your overall gaming experience as it is. And I will talk to you at the next one or in the comments. Bye, guys.
Almost forgot about this. Aha! No. Oh, almost messed up the episode while recording it. And now we should have a comparison for the end of the episode. And this will show us nicely what are the most profitable crops. So that is why I have the most pomegranates, the most peaches, uh, less apples, less oranges, and the least amount of apricots and cherries. So I thought this would be a nice thing to show. 